what's up YouTube land it's your boy Eddie Hill back from still city con in good old White Oak PA from Monroeville to White Oak PA and back again and we got my entire toy haul from still city con and we got a lot of vintage Transformers toys and other toys here we got a vintage Scooby-Doo set finally in my collection. I'm going to have to lower the camera down because these are pretty cool. I now got an entire Scooby gang for my Scooby-Doo shelf, man. I've been needing a Scooby gang in the collection. But now I got the entire gang for the shelf, man. This is going to look nice and going to look good on my shelf. And then we'll, these figures will be going on my review bucket list. I'm going to put these figures in the bins. The figures to do from my haul from Still City Con. A lot of this stuff is vintage, retro vintage. So yeah, really old figures that are retro vintage. First on the list, we have an original G.I. Joe. And this is Quick Kick. And I got him for $3 at Steel City Con. And he is a an actor slash throwing star ninja in a way. Just like my boy Snake Eyes. Why not? He will be going on the review bucket list for sure. And we got some other figures here. We got Lilymon from Digimon Shoto. Yeah, we got Lilymon. I've been wanting this figure since it came out, but it's been like 40 bucks to get this figure, and I finally got her for the shelf, and I'm so happy to have her. She's going to look so nice on my random figure shelf. And yeah, she is a plant-type, fairy-type Digimon. Next on the old-school retro figure list we got this is a figure from a from a titan ae and i don't know her name but she is the main female character in the show and i thought she was a good looking character and now i got a figure of her she is going in the collection as soon as i review her we got some other old school toys from the early days this is from z kai and we got trunks for my dragon ball shelf he's just missing his sword which is a real shame that's the real shame about this old school figure he's missing his sword but i presume i should be able to find him a sword somewhere uh let's see if i got a sword lying around here I got something that should work. Just see if it's going to work with his hilt or something. Uh, it's a bit thicker because it's a medieval sword, but it will work. That's Trunk's sword. You can go slash slash Frieza with his sword of justice. His Saiyan sword of justice. Why not? But yeah, we will be reviewing that, of course. That is another figure from the Steel City Con that was old school, retro vintage. We got another retro vintage, and this is the Power Ranger Zeo. Gold Ranger. Strong as steel, watch out danger, he's for real. You know when lightning comes, it's Gold Ranger. Gold Ranger. And I couldn't help sing the song of when the Gold Ranger appears. Why not? I can't help but be a singer at times. <laughs> it's fun to do on this channel. Next, we got this figure from Transformers Beast Machines. And it is Rat Trap. Rat Trap Maximize. And yeah, this is the McDonald's toy. Beast Machines Rat Trap. Which looks pretty cool by my standards. Definitely gonna review this. 
Why not? <laughs> Dare I say, why not? And of course, we got a Batman villain, and it's the Penguin. I will review this, because this is Batman, and it's one of my favorite characters from Batman, the animated series. It's the Penguin. <laughs> got some Marvel characters, too. We got the Thing. It's clobbering time. <laughs> I love doing the voices for these guys. It's fun to do the voices. I kid you not. It's clobbering. Yeah, I like to go, it's clobbering time. Next, we got another Power Rangers item. And this is the Power Rangers Time Force. Time, time, time for Power Rangers Time Force. Time, time, time force. And I couldn't help but sing the song because this is from Power Rangers Time Force. And it is the Blue Ranger. We got another Transformers figure here. This is G1 Bone Crusher. Constructicons. Transform. And it transforms easily. Why not? Yeah, I say why not. And of course, we got another Transformer figure as well. Transformers. Yeah, Transformers. Animated. Optimus Prime. Again... I, I can't remember the song's exact details for Transformers Animated, but I got me a Prime to review from Transformers Animated. Why not? Next, we got some more figures here. A lot of it's big scale. Next to Lux scale. We got I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. And yeah, I couldn't help that from the original... Iron Man, the animated series. Why not? Do, 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 do. We got Hal Jones from... We got Martian Manhunter, or Hal Jones, from Justice League. Martian Manhunter. We finally got a Martian Manhunter here. And I'm going to review this guy here on the channel. Because he's going on the review bucket list. Why not? We got another old school Power Rangers. It's another fast food toy. And it's the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. Tyrannosaurus. Red Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. I like to do the impressions. And we got an Imperial Stormtrooper from Black Series. I got this for five bucks. It's missing the gun, but otherwise he's completely there. I have to find him a gun and be like, give him a gun so he can go blast some rebels. Why not? And this is the guy from Solo. Next, we got another vintage Yukio figure. He may have some slight breakage because he is a used figure. Black Luster Soldier. Yeah, he's missed his sword and shield. Real shame, really. And we got another Ben 10 figure. It's Forearms. I'm gonna punch you into next week, Vilgax. And that's my Forearms impression. <laughs> it's a fun impression to do. And next, we got a 12-inch... Wonder Woman. And she's got her lasso of truth on her belt. And she's got some articulation. Given this is an old school Wonder Woman, she kicks out that far. And doesn't kick back at anything or kick back. But this is a nice looking Wonder Woman. And she's going on my shelf. And she's got her bracelets that can deflect bullets like in the cartoon. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And the last piece we got is a Rogue One ship from Star Wars. Rogue One. And this is a huge ship. The wings are a bit a bit bent out of place, so 
I'm going to have to fix this with a iron because they're not supposed to look like that. Other than that, this is a good looking ship and you can put an action figure right in the ship. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And this is my entire Steel City Con toy haul. Why not? Dare I say, why not, right? A lot of this stuff will be reviewed and put on the shelf. Because, man, I love some good-looking figures, man. I loved all the figures I picked up today. If you like this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is my Still City 2022 Toy Haul. Next Toy Haul won't be till... August, not August, but uh, 2023 in September. So stay tuned for that. And this, this is Eddie Hill moving on and on and rock out. But before I move on completely, these videos may be delayed because I can't get into my, uh, these videos may have some delays in the dates. So please understand that there were delays because I can't upload the videos because my Google Google's down. So this video may be off the day itself. So please understand I will try to correct this once I get my my Google up and going again. So I can get access to my YouTube. And that has been my entire Still City Con. Now it's Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out.